Meantime, just one day after Intermountain Medical Center received its first COVID-19 patient, we're now hearing from the patient himself. Mark Jorgensen of St. George is now back in his home state of Utah. ABC 4's Nicole Newman joining us live now from Murray. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Nick. Well, despite being in a special isolation unit here at the hospital, Mark Jorgensen is keeping us all up to date with his progress on Facebook. I am coming to you from the Intermountain Medical Center in Murray, Utah. After an ordeal that began last month aboard the Diamond Princess cruise ship in Japan, Mark Jorgensen of St. George is now back in the state of Utah. He arrived Friday evening at the request for the Centers for Disease Control. Flew from Sacramento on this cool little uh, Learjet. There was just me and the two nurses and the two pilots were the only ones there. Mark was previously quarantined at Travis Air Force Base in California after testing positive for COVID-19. In a video recently posted to Facebook, he speaks from his hospital room in Intermountain's high-level isolation unit. They call the EPU. Intermountain is one of only a few hospitals in the United States with an EPU, which stands for Emergency Preparedness Unit. And this is a special, uh, specially designed unit on the campus of Intermountain Medical Center that is actually specifically designed to care for emerging infectious diseases. Currently, doctors say Mark isn't showing any COVID-19 symptoms. He actually has two tests from his time in California that are still pending. Now, hospital officials say they will continue to treat Mark until he tests negative for COVID-19. Live in Murray, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News. Okay, Nicole, thank you.